Barkley, he's the head of the Barkley House. Agnes Barkley is his devoted and loving spouse. They've got kids, Terry, Roger, and Chester, too. And all of them are Barkley's through and through. Cause they're the Barkley's and they're okay. And Arnie Barkley with a very open mind is always first to let you know his own opinionated ways. But even though he may grumble and get up tight, just remember Arnie Barkley's bark is worse than his bite. Come on, Pop. Do you have to measure my height like I'm a kid? Since I buy the food that makes you grow, I just want to check my investment. Shut up five-eighths of an inch. Got that, Agnes? Well, even as a baby, Roger was tall for his age. He used to sleep with his feet sticking out of the bassinet. All right, step up, Terry. You're next. Okay, Daddy. Hey, my little gal's shooting up, too. Saving me for last gives me an edge. Because I'm growing every minute. I always say a man's only got to be tall enough for his feet to touch the ground. Lincoln said it, too. Well, I guess we think similar. Leaping skyscrapers. Chester has grown a whole two inches. And that's without my hat. It must be that wheat germ I sneak into his jelly beans, dear. But two inches in nine months. Let's see. Figure in 12 months a year... That seems fair. In 33 years, he'll be 12 feet tall. And a bachelor. Why a bachelor? Where am I going to find an 11 foot wide? Chester, you don't realize this because your brains are not growing as fast as your body. But your height's going to make you a millionaire. Million? Millionaire? I called your attention to this item in the sports section. A seven foot youngster, Bean Paul Bassett, which has been signed as a basketball center. For one million dollars. My goodness, that's over a hundred thousand dollars a foot. Cool. But what's that got to do with Chester now? Hold everything. There's an ad in the paper. Ah, here it is. The Small Fry Basketball League is seeking a coach. Well, seek no more. I'll grab that job, and Coach Barkley's official act will be to make my Chester the star center of the team. I don't want to play basketball. Don't, don't, don't! Jump a little higher. A born center. I don't want to play, and I'm too short. Mere technicalities. Napoleon was short, but that didn't keep him from making that French pastry. Dad, don't go to that meeting tonight. You're making a big mistake. Chester, no matter how wrong decisions are in this house, your father will make them. Why do dads always have to act like fathers? <laughs> The meeting of the Small Fry Basketball League will come to order. Uh, what are you here for, sir? To apply for the coach of the Small Fry Basketball team. There's just one sticky little problem. Another father has already applied for the job. Now look, basketball's got two referees. Why can't our Small Fry team have two coaches? Seems like you've made your point. Coach Barkley, may I present your co-coach, Hartwell Beagle. Beagle? Uh, delighted to work with you, Barkley. Well, the feeling's not mutual, but I'm willing to make any sacrifice for my son. Practice tomorrow at noon. Okay, look alive there. Snap the ball around. Shoot! 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 Uh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Beagle, I'll do the coaching. Uh, you're forgetting, Arnie, we are co-coaches. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the reminder. That'll solve our problem. <laughs> out there. 
Oh, Chester, nice shot. Uh, <clears throat> let's get in some practice jumping at center. Uh, Arnie, uh, Chester's a great little kid, but uh, uh, how can you justify playing him at center? Of course, in baseball, he plays center field. Basketball's different than baseball. So that'll make it easier for Chester. The ball is bigger. <laughs> uh, ready, man? I guess so. Yes, sir. <laughs> Foul! Foul? Who fouled? You did, Beagle. You tossed the ball up when Chester wasn't looking. Now, do it again. <laughs> again. <laughs> One more time. Yeah, it doesn't toss him. And a kid with a ball up in the air. I can't. Face it, Pop. Chester doesn't stand a chance against those taller kids. Poppy Rod. When I was a kid, I played center. And if I could play center, so can Chester. Dear, we've seen your clippings. Yeah, all season you stayed in last place. That was just to make our opponents overconfident. Well, maybe that's what Chester is trying to do. Shucks. Face it, Dad. I looked rotten at practice. Maybe I'd be better at croquet, because I'm built too close to the ground. Nonsense. You gotta grow into basketball. You know, Will Chamberlain was once your size? Uh, but when he was three months old. When he was three months old. Who knows? By the time the first game rolls around, Chester could grow six inches. Right. Any day now, he could shoot up like an asparagus. You mean he'll shoot up like a weed? Yeah. Then he'll be as tall as a pea pod. Uh, that string bean, dear. String bean? That's it. I'll use the old bean. I'm going on a crash course and get taller now. And now, ladies, it's time for the Jack the Labrador TV stretch exercises. Stretching exercises should make me taller. Up on the toes. Arms stretched upwards until your fingers reach, reach the sky. Uh, <laughs> Keep this up, ladies. Up, 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 up. And you'll shrink down to a size 10 in no time. <laughs> shrink? <laughs> Chester, this is crazy. It's not crazy. It's very scientific. This article says that plants grow taller when someone plays classical music. If it can do it for plants, it can do it for me. Now watch me grow. Ooh, another failure. And on your left, public school 32 and a half, attended by my son and athlete, Chester Littlewilt Barkley, the Tiny Tim of basketball. And tonight, the small fry basketballers are playing the Pee Wee Terriers. Can I bring the baby? If you'll pull that pacifier out of his mouth so he can root for Chester. Well, is he good? Is he good? He'll make more hoops than Martha Washington's dressmaker. <laughs> I can't wait for the first game tonight. Calm down, Pop. It's just a kid's game. You're way too nervous. What makes you think I'm nervous? Well, for one thing, you have your shirt on backwards. <laughs> How about that? Here come the teams. Oh, my. Aren't they cute? Hey, there's my kid. Watch my sunny boy. Natural athlete. He's a whiz. Just like his dad. And now, on the court for a few warm-up shots, the Pee Wee Terriers. Yay! And the small fries! My goodness, aren't they a little old to be wearing diapers? Mother, those are their basketball shorts. Oh. Jumping for center for the Terriers is Gary Greyhound. And for the small fries, Chester Barkley. Are you sure you're only 10 years old? Make him overconfident. Gary Greyhound dribbles down court and Chester Barkley trying to cut it off. And Greyhound dribbles over Barkley's head for two points. <laughs> and the Terriers score over Barkley again. The Terriers are scoring over Barkley at will.
small prize, 36 to nothing. Oh, please, Arnie, take Chester out of the game. I'll take my kid out when you take your kid out. He is out. He's sitting right over there on the bench. Well, maybe he needs the rest. Chester just hasn't got his second win yet. Another score for the Terriers. Hey, you want to win the game? Let my Willie play center. Yeah, and take your son out. You don't think Chester's there just because I'm his father? And another score for the Terriers. Oh, I can't stand this. Neither can I. Come back. No fathers on the court. <laughs> Me the ball. Uh -huh. Now I'll show you how we Barclays play. Off, off, off the court. I've heard of losing, but 102 to nothing? Problem with you, Chester, is you didn't listen to your father. Didn't listen to what? I told you to make baskets. That's the secret of the game, making baskets. Like the secret of hockey is making hawks, dear. Oh, how can I face my passengers tomorrow? Just tell them I'm quitting. Quitting? Forget it. No Barkley ever runs away from disaster. He learns to live with it. Oh, oh boy. How can I face the kids at school tomorrow? They figure you to play basketball. Playing center yet? You know what he ought to be playing? First end on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you dum dums, get lost. Thanks, Lulu. Ignore them, Chester. You functioned in the game in the face of stupendous odds, and I think you're simply wonderful. You do? After all that happened? It's simple. You are the victim of your father's frustrations. You mean he's playing basketball? Through me? Precisely. But I want you to play for you, yourself. But I'm not so good as me, myself. You will be now. How come? Now you've got a girlfriend who could someday become a wife rooting for you. A whole harem of wives couldn't help my game. Chester, look at me and say... Lulu, I am self-motivated. Lulu, I am self-motivated. Crazy. It's working already. If I can't get bigger, I'll get better. Oh, that's my Chester. Good night, Agnes. Uh, good night, dear. Night, kids. Night, night. everybody. <laughs> Only five seconds to play. We need two baskets to whip the Lakers. Pass the ball to Chester. We go around Jerry West, under Chamberlain, and loop that old ball through the hoop. Oh, no. Right in my folks' room. Oh, Agnes, did you hear that? Someone came in through our window. It must be a burglar, dear. Um, see what he wants. A burglar? It sounds like he's going downstairs. And I know what he's after. My bowling trophy. Good night. And from here on, no more practice at night. This obstacle course ought to improve your dribbling, Chester. See if you can dribble through the course and score. Here goes nothing. Wow, that's some dribbling. That's getting the hang of it, Chester. A couple of hours of this, then some shooting practice. Yahoo! Oh, my gosh. This is more like a 
replay than a rematch. The Terriers have made points so fast, it looks like the small fry have no chance at stopping them. I've been watching Chester all week, and uh, well, I have a suggestion. Yeah, put in a substitute. It's only being fair to Chester. And to the team. Agnes, you've been my wife all these years. What do you say? Yank him out, dear. But, but Agnes, I love him. Poor father. Yeah, Mom's asking a lot. We have a substitution here. Billy Boxer for Chester Barkley. It's my fault, Chester. I wanted to be a winning father. Instead, I'm a losing chump. I get it, Pop. Maybe I'll go out for the checker team, where the jumps aren't so high. Chester, I hope you're not going to indulge in self-pity. I can hardly indulge in self-congratulations. See you again sometime, Lulu. I can't believe it. We're losing worse than ever, even with Chester out of the game. Well, that's what I've been trying to tell you. I watch Chester practice at home. He'd be great as a shooting guard. Well, let's send him in. Lulu, where's Chester? He's gone, Mr. Barkley. A victim of parental pressure. We got a game to win, and she's throwing psychology at me. If we got to go find Chester, we'll have to stall the game. How many timeouts have we got? Uh, five. Good. Call five timeouts. Come on, gang. Let's find Chester. Chester, are you in there? It's your Lulu. Chester, what are you doing? I'm writing my memoirs. How I Failed at the Age of Ten by Chester Barkley. Oh, Chester, you didn't fail. Right now, a whole rooting section is shouting, We want Chester. They... They want me? Of course. Why else would they shout, we want Chester? I'll go where duty calls. <laughs> we want Chester. We want Chester. We Did want anyone find him? Chester. He's vanished into thin air, dear. Uh, maybe he joined the Foreign Legion. Oh, I only have myself to blame. I pushed him into this. He'll never come back on his own. Dad! Chester! Chester, get in there at God and make baskets, son. Uh, yes, like you did in your yard all week, Chester. Just let me get that ball and watch my steam. That's my Chester. At last, he's self-motivated. And here's the tip-off for the start of the fourth quarter, with the Terriers leading 100 to nothing. And the tip goes to Chester Barkley. Wow, what a fake. Gee, I never showed him that one. Uh, he'll do lots of things in life you won't show him, Barkley. And Chester Barkley scores. Barkley shoots again from outside. And scores. Unbelievable! Barkley's all over the court! A sensational pass! And the small fry score! Chester! It's fantastic, folks! Chester Barkley has gone wild! What a game! The small fries win! Please have your son's hand in marriage. Sure, Lulu. <laughs> Come back in ten years. You did it, Dad. You coached the team to a win. Nah, it wasn't me, kids. It was Chester who came through. All we fathers can win is our memories. And we fudge plenty on them, too. <laughs> kids' sports are for kids. Grown-ups, hands off. Oh, Arnie, I'm so proud of you for saying that. And so are we, Dad. Ah, thanks, kids. 
You know something, Roger? What, Dad? With your height, you could be a tennis champ. Now, with a little coaching from your father... Dad! Well, it was worth a try. 